may the force be with you and also with you. It's true people's people's collectibles. A quick question for you. Uh, what's better, the Holy Trinity or three boxes of March of the Machine, the Aftermath? And the correct answer is March of the Machine, the Aftermath, because even though it's a shit fucking set, uh, at least this is real. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. Um, yeah, I'm so fucking hilarious. I, I stole that joke from uh, Hannibal Burris, by the way. Uh, his, his was Burrito and Jesus, but, uh, you know, literally just the, the same thing. So, yeah, I bought one of these a few weeks ago. Uh, on sale on Amazon for 35 bucks and at the time I thought I got three and ended up only getting one this time I made sure to get three and I even had a 30% coupon for one of those so yeah I ended up paying like under 100 bucks for three of these and when I was doing those openings I got a Nessa so I've only gotten two of those so far and I remember she hit a high of 40 when this set uh, had first dropped she's already back up to to like 30 now. Um, other than her, there's no real other big hits. I think Karn's like 10, 15, and uh, who else is there? I know Karn for sure. Um, are there any? I think there, there's a few that are like 10, 15 bucks. Not entirely sure. But yeah, there's obviously not much uh, value in this set for the obvious reason that. You know, there's just too many uh, duplicates for a 50-card set. You're getting 24 packs of five cards each. So it is what it is, but, I mean, at that price, I mean, you really can't beat it, right? I mean, especially when, you know, if you pull a Nissa, that basically pays for one of these boxes. It's just absolutely insane. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it fairly quickio. Uh, today, all right, open away. I mean, that's a pretty decent uh, regular rare there. Look at that that Pringling there. That's like kind of Pringled, and it's not even uh, a foil. Yeah, that was something I was realizing with the other box too. Is that there was some curvature to these cards, and I'm not sure if it's like, like look at that. See, you can you can already see it right there. Um, all right, first Mythic. Not really that fun, and you know, first foil rare, ooh, ooh and ooh, uh, an ad card, which, I remember the first time I opened one of these, I, I literally spent like five, ten minutes in a video uh, bitching about um, the token card, not being a token card, just being a arena card, which, I mean, that kind of does really irritate me, though. You're only giving me five cards and like a token, you, you can at least give me an actual token. And not try to get me on your your stupid client that I'm already on anyway. All right, deification for our first showcase rare. Um, but yeah, I mean, I still I still like this set uh, at the thirty you know some price point. It actually makes sense. I can't believe that I paid like seventy something bucks for this product uh, around when it first came out. That blows my mind. But you know, obviously. Hindsight is 2020, and I do think that if they didn't mass print this like everything else, and then if they didn't have um, a new set, you know, every single month, which speaking of, yeah, RIP, whatever her name is, who just got uh, kicked out of uh, Hasbro, you know, good riddance. See, see you later, Kathleen. I don't think her name is actually Kathleen, but you know what I'm talking about. R.I.P. You know, don't don't let the, the fucking door hit you on the way out. You know what I'm saying? Seriously, though. Um, if, you know, they did a few sets a year, and this was just like one random little set they did in between sets, I, um, <clears throat> I think people would have definitely not been as down on it and the fact that this was just a few months after magic uh, 30 which i mean that was the, the most uh hated product of all time i gotta say because you, you don't get too many products that collectors and players alike just hate completely you know and you got to wonder like who who was that product for at least something like Aftermath, like, I like this product from the get-go because I like 
smaller sets. I really do. I've always been a fan of like the the promo sets, like with with Pokemon. Uh, one of my favorite sets growing up was like the the Black Star promos. I just you know I, the smaller sets are cool, man. And uh, you know, obviously, I get it that you know in a fifty card set when you're getting like a play set of almost every single um, uncommon, it's not as great. And then you know. The fact, like opening these three boxes, we're gonna see almost every single card multiple times, except for a few of the mythics. Now, if we see a Nissa in every single one, that would be friggin' sweet. But um, I mean, it's insane. It's a 50 card set, and I think it's like um, what 255 unique cards or something. So, you know, meaning <laughs> that for every single card, there there's like at least five variants. Something to that extent, which is absolutely maddening. But, uh, oh, Kayla, okay, so there we go. How did I forget? He is definitely worth more than a Karn. So, already starting off strong. Tyvar could care less, but Kalex, that is actually um, a pretty good one. So, yeah, he is definitely the second most sought after. So if I'm remembering correctly, it's Nyssa, Kalix, and Karn. And then, I don't know if there's anyone else uh, 10 bucks or above. But uh, yeah, awesome uh, card for any enchantment-like deck. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I mean, I still stand by that the, the cards in this set are unique enough that um you know th there's going to be value in in this set in, at one point you know in, in the future now obviously they, they printed way too much because we're a, about a year now from release was it april of last year or may of last year i want to say april right because i remember getting this set in may and i think that was a few weeks or, or a month after um, it had first drop. See, there we go. Another ad card right in the bin. And um, I was going to say, oh, yeah, March of the Machine was like in March. Did they mean to line that up? March of the Machine in March. They're so smart. Um, anyway. Yes, yeah, so I think this is about a year. And open the way. I mean, that that's a pretty decent rare as far as uh, rares for this uh, unwanted set go and nim visit supreme i mean pretty decent little card there but yeah i mean this is one of those like if they don't reprint these cards anytime in the near future and i'm actually wondering have they reprinted any of these in the past year tranquil frillback another i mean he's he's a decent one the zubin drifter that's an, now Financially speaking, the Zubin Drifter, Niv Mizzet, uh, not so much. I don't think they're really worth anything. Uh, but I think Tranquil Frillback, I mean, he's, what, like three, four bucks a piece? Which, yeah, I mean, that's not mad money or anything. But, again, if you're spending like, you know, 30-something bucks on, on one of these boxes, like a three, four dollar rare is not bad. It's not bad. This is this is the the penny pincher channel over here. But yeah, I'd have to look into that, but I don't believe any of these cards have been reprinted. And like with something like the Zubin Drifter, you know, the the price there isn't really high cuz it's only really seeing like um play in eternal formats like legacy, right? And um Shit, why can't I think of the, the show and tell decks, right? Because Zoom and Drifter can just become an Emrakul or a, a, a Traxa real quick. Which, I mean, that's pretty decent. I mean, that just really helps with the consistency of those decks. If you don't draw your show and tell by turn three, being able to plop down a Zoom and Drifter on turn three and do a little surprise on your opponent can, uh, can be 
pretty pretty decent one. That's another ad card. So not yeah. Uh, so anyway, the point with Vesuvian Drifter then being like, if they don't reprint that card any time in the near future, like it it might start pushing up. Now again, because she's not seen in anything like really Commander or uh, Modern or any or Pioneer or really anything else, um, and it's really just like Legacy Show and Tell decks, yeah, she, she's not going to be worth much. Yeah, I mean, if these cards get scarce at some point and they're not reprinting them in anything, like, there's a chance, like, some of these things might be pretty decent. Tra training Grounds, another great example. Now, don't, you know, quote me on anything, but I'm pretty sure that card was like 20-something bucks. And the only reason I know that is because I wanted to buy one previously for my, um, my Sliver deck. And actually, a card I do know that is like that is uh, Intruder Alarm, because that was one that I did actually buy uh, before it was reprinted and Wilds of Eldraine as part of the Enchanting Tales. Samut so, Samat, yeah, I have so many of these fucking guys. So done with them. I got play set on play set of him. See, so, only three Mythics so far. It's a little lame. I mean, you know, the fact that we've got Calyx, I'm obviously not complaining. Because, yeah, I mean, most of the Mythics only worth, you know, a couple bucks. So the fact that we got one that, you know, you could pull six mythics and all of them combined are not even, you know, worth a single uh, calyx. Uh, oh, that Karn. All right. Sweet. And that's what I'm talking about. I mean, we could have pulled, let's say, eight mythics, right? I would rather pull a Karn and a calyx than, you know, four Samots and four uh, Tyvars, right? That's pretty cool. That is one that I can sell. Yeah, because the last box that I did, I got a retro frame Karn, and that was actually the first Karn that I pulled out of one of these. So it was quite happy. Yeah, that box was sweet. I mean, retro frame Karn and Anessa, like, literally that right there, that, that, that pays for the box. And our last one, I was hoping for, for one more Mythic, but again, Give me four with, you know, two of them being those guys instead of giving me, like, eight or something. Not complaining about that. All right, we're moving straight into the next one. Nope. <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, yeah, so the point about Nissa that I kept uh, about to be going back to and then continue to talk about something else because I do not know how to stay focused and on track of topics. It is what it is. But anyway, um, I remember she pushed a high of like, uh, what, 40 bucks a piece or something, right? And then she dropped, I want to say like under 20 bucks. So when I pulled one, I was like, all right, cool. But, you know, I think she's only worth like 15 bucks now. But yeah, I mean, she's pushing back up to, to the 30 now. And I haven't checked in the past, like, week or so, but, I mean, I think she might even have uh, gotten past 30 or something. Not entirely sure. But that's one of those cards, I mean, it's just such a good card that if she doesn't get reprinted anytime soon, like, that price is going to keep going up, right? And, yeah, like, with training, and training grounds and intruder alarm, that was another point that I never... Uh, actually finish, but I don't remember exactly what I put, paid for um, my copy of Intruder Alarm, which, you know, I got one of the, uh, the original. What, what was it from? Stronghold? I want to say Stronghold. Um, anyway, I got the Stronghold one, and I want to say, like, at least 10 bucks, maybe 15 bucks. That was the market value at the time that I, that I picked it up, and no, now it's like a couple dollars. And same thing with Training Ground. Now, it's restabilized a little bit, but obviously the reason for Training Grounds... What's up? What's up, girl? What's up? Can I have your number? Can you have your number, Nissa? What's up? What's up? Oh, I've got to get my finger off of her. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not pack fresh. It's not, it's not going to sleep quick enough. All right. Sorry, I can't sell it. It's pack fresh now. I'm a, I'm a liar and a thief. Liar and a thief. 
but anyway, training ground, obviously the big reason for that drastic price point previously um, was the fact that, um, was it OG Zendikar? I want to say OG Zendikar, right? Uh, was the original and only printing, I also want to say, except for maybe like some kind of promo set or something. But yeah, I mean, if you wanted it, that was it. And that was the reason why that price was where it is. Just like um, the, that Horde card that, that I don't have any front of. Um, <clears throat> why am I blanking on the name? You know, the the green instant that gives your guys a plus one, plus one, and like trample and effect. Oh, are you, whoa, yo, 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 yo. Hold the phone, hold the phone. Is this not the greatest uh, box of an Aftermath booster box? Yeah, she's a Pringle now, but I mean, you know, word to the wise, if you put cards in, in top loaders, even if they're Pringles, it, it does um, unpringle them over time. It just in case you didn't know that. But, um, <clears throat> retro frame foil Nissa. Right after getting a regular Nissa. That's what I'm talking about. See, and like now at this point, I don't need any other mythics or anything else from this box. Um, I'm not really sure the value on this one is. Um, you know, obviously the Remo is the uh, Halo foil Nissa, which you can only get in the collector boxes. But as far as uh, draft boxes, that's got to be the biggest hit by far. And I haven't even gotten uh, a non-foil retro frame Nissa. So, wow. Wow. Don't even remember what the point was. And look, and then a showcase rare. I mean, that's not like a big one or anything. But still, it's our first showcase. Well, I mean, okay. Nissa, well, Nissa is a mythic. So, yes. That is, in fact, our first uh, showcase rare. Which, that was something I noticed when I first um, opened uh, a box of these. Is I was only getting, like, one showcase uh, foil rare or mythic in a box. Uh, which is, you know, basically what they did to try to justify the absolutely insane uh, collector uh, booster box price, which what was it? I want to say the MSRP was like 200 bucks, right? I mean, absolutely insane, right? Could you imagine paying 200 bucks for one of those? Like, I got hoes paying, you know, 70 something, I guess like 80 bucks after tax on one of these when this Sarkon that's a solid mythic right there. And yeah, not like super solid, I think, what, like six, seven bucks for one of these, but I mean, compared to. A lot of the other ones that's actually halfway decent. Um, but anyway, yeah, like, could you imagine paying like 200 some bucks for, for one of those collector booster boxes when it first came out? Like, you probably felt like the biggest loser. And believe me, I have, you know, I've been the biggest loser in my life for Tyvar Showcase. Yeah, again, not one of the like super big ones, but I mean, a, a showcase mythic after getting a retro frame uh, Nissa and a regular Nissa. Yo, yeah, th this box is fire right now. This is some fire. Um, well, yeah, what was the point about collector boxes? I don't know. If you paid 200 bucks, I'm sorry, man. And actually, as of the, the opening of this video, Tranquil Frillback. I think that's actually the first time I got a sh uh, showcase version of this card. I think so. Um, but yeah, as of the filming of this video, I actually have a collector box um, coming tomorrow from Amazon that I got the 30% off coupon again, and I think it was like 90 uh, before the coupon. And then I got like, um, I get 5% cash back uh, for my Amazon card, and then I got 6% cash back from uh, you know, being patient, saying that I'd wait a few days instead of getting it delivered the next day. So literally, like after tax, I paid under sixty bucks for a collector box of this. Which, you know, if I had the kind of luck that I'm having with uh, this right here, with that, my God, is that going to be uh, is that going to be some spice?
Yeah, damn. I don't even know if I should uh, open the, the next box at this point. Like, how, how can a, a draft booster box? Okay, so yeah, no. Now they're they're literally okay. Now, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to post a 30 minute long video or if I'm just going to show the part where a single booster box literally had three fucking misses inside of it. I haven't had a single box where I got three mythics in, in the same box. I think I had one where I got at least like two of those inside, but dude. Come on. Come on. Three. Literally, there is no way now that any other box can beat this. I'm not even halfway through this box. Like, oh my gosh. Insane. Today is also uh, my birthday. So this is uh, my birthday present to myself. Uh, you know, God above uh, forgave me for... Uh, becoming an atheist and turning away from my Catholic faith, and because I made a comment about the uh, the Holy Trinity, he's trying to get me to come back. You know, I uh, you know I, I was tortured as a child uh, being raised Catholic. I wasn't like you know molested by a priest or anything, but my mom made me pray the Rosary so I could still say the the Hail Mary and the Our Father uh, by memory. So you know, there you go. The more you know. Which, I mean, I will admit is helpful. Because, you know, there's times like when I would play uh, NFL Blitz on the, the N64. And I have like a fourth. All right, another mythic. Another mythic. Um, yeah, a way that I would like fuck with my friends is I would start like reciting the Hail Mary on like a fourth down when I had like a, a clutch play. And I'd be like, what are, what are you doing right now? And I'd be like, Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord's be Blessed are thou amongst women, blessed through thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, to the hour of death, amen. See what I'm saying? If you weren't raised Catholic and didn't have to be forced to pray the rosary growing up, uh, you have to, yeah, you have to do like, what, 50? Uh, is it 55? 50? Like 50 something Hail Marys. It, it, it's insane. It's insane. So yeah, literally, I've I've been an atheist for like 20 years, and I can still uh, say that by memory, just because I had to say it so many times. Yeah, this childhood trauma is a thing, folks. I'm glad now that the discourse, though, on trauma and everything is uh, becoming a lot more open. It's a lot healthier uh, to admit the shit that you've had to go through uh, as a child instead of just uh, repressing your... Uh, your emotions and your feelings, like our baby boomer uh, parents had to. And also, I'm lying. It's technically not my birthday anymore. It's like one o'clock in the morning, so like an hour late. But you know, whatever. Woo woo! Happy birthday to me. Ad card. I mean, I'm not even going to complain about the ad cards now. I really have uh, zero reason to, uh, to say anything. But, uh, yeah, uh, for anyone watching this video, um, I, I don't, I don't see any reason to post like a 40 minute long video of opening these when why show anything other than the single box that had, um, Three misses inside of it. The whole, oh my, the whole, I didn't even think of that. The Holy Trinity. I got, I got three. There were three boxes, and in one box, I got three different misses, and two of them were dude. All right, well, folks, I, I have been uh, an atheist for, for 20 something years, and uh, this was uh this was a revelation from uh, the big man upstairs telling me that uh it's time to to get back to the faith. It's time to get back. This is it. I I have convinced myself that uh I have been living a lie. And that, uh, look another see and like normally I'd be like oh fucking smiles fucking horseshit, 
but we're, we're about to do we're about to do a myth account for this box. Did we did we get eight mythics as well? Like, so I made a mention, like, oh yeah, like I you know I'd rather get you know two of the good mythics than uh you know get eight shit ones, and I think we ended up uh, getting about eight mythics anyway, right? So one two, you know, those are for the first one. So one two, three four five, six seven. Okay, seven seven mythics in. Uh, 24 packs. Absolutely insane. All right. Well, if, uh, all right. So that's the, <laughs> the end of the video, I guess. Boom, 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 boom. But then I'm going to open this one in case because if there's anything cool, then I'll, you know, turn into like a shorter TikTok thing or something. But, um, you know, just because I'm already here, it's like, you know, I might as well do this. But my God. That is not what I was expecting. Literally, that one box, those three Nisses alone paid for, for these three boxes. Insane and membrane. But now watch that collector box that I get being absolute uh, doo-doo when I get around to, uh, to opening that one. Shall see. All right. Now, see, like, check that out, right? All right, we're going to look at that real quick because I'm pretty sure I'm not even going to post this uh, part anyway. I am fairly, fairly certain that I hadn't pulled a single one of these uh, ruins thus far in those first two boxes, right? Because I remember, yeah, like the Kenrith's Royal Funeral, um, I got through two or three boxes um, when I was first getting the set and didn't get a single one of these. So it's a small set, but I still feel that, um, you know, as far as like rare, why is this guy in here? As far as like rares uh, go, uh, and look like only one training grounds so far. Uh, yeah, people are acting like, oh yeah, like you're going to get, you know, multiples of uh, every single rare in every box. and. It's not quite like that. Now, the uncommons, that is kind of an issue that, like, any of these uncommons, like, between the, the regular versions and the foils and the showcase, like, you're getting at least, like, two of every single uncommon. Uh, so there's pretty much, like, just no value there. But, I mean, you know, you're really looking for... Why am I looking at the uncommons for the ruins? Anyway, uh, yeah, that, that was the first of those ruins. You get the point, right? You can get multiple boxes and still not uh, pull a single copy of any individual right. And thus, if um, you know these rares never get reprinted, and there's certain ones, see so top three tie bars. All right, I mean, can't complain now. All right, so Mott showcase. I don't know if I actually got one of these yet. Because I've gotten so many of these dudes and like so many different variants, but I don't think I got the showcase um, one of them yet. So that's that's cool beans. That's cool beans. Yeah. All right. Oh, and also, yeah, I mean that was a two mythic pack, so. Not uh, not going to complain about that one. But yeah, I, I really I can't believe that uh, those those three misses there. Especially after making a comment about the Holy Trinity at the the beginning of this video, and then uh, not even realizing like, oh look, that that they are the Holy Trinity. Rare. Nobody cares.
Case rare, as I said, nobody gives a flame and hoot. Yeah, basically at this point, this is like a, it's like a failing uh, marriage after you were in like a, a relationship with like someone that you actually like were in love with, and uh, then you get into your failing marriage and you're just going with emotions. That's what opening this third box is like. Yeah, what what an analogy, I'm Mr. Analogy Man over here. I'm just saying whatever the fuck I want because basically at this point, like I said, I mean I'm not literally not gonna fucking post this part anymore. I'm just talking to myself, although in theory I'm basically just talking to myself in any of these fucking videos anyway. But, 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 flash. Ah, Narsa. Haven't seen uh, one of these in a minute. A second. But yeah, we're still rolling the camera just in case. You know, just in case. Because the, I don't think there's any way this box. Wait, why? I'm not putting her in a prop letter. Um, yeah, th there's always the chance that I could open a, a pack that has like, you know, uh, a foil Nissa and like a retro frame foil Nissa or, you know, something along those lines, right? And if that happens, I want to make sure that I have that on camera because that, that would be so cool. So cool. Do I think that's actually going to happen? No, of course I don't think it's going to happen. I also didn't think that I was going to pull three of them in a single box. You know? Let alone, I didn't think I was going to pull three of them in three boxes. So, yeah. Hey, all right. Another Calyx. Cool. Yeah, I'm so happy that I actually got the three boxes this time. Yeah, I'm not sure why I didn't last time, but as I said, about a year ago, I bought one of these boxes for like 80 after tax and I got burned so bad that, yeah, I think that the the memory of, of, of getting burned so bad was still kind of in my head. All right, foil mythic Tyvar there. Now, see, this is a card I've barely even read, right? Four mana, five, four. Why am I reading? I'm not posting this fucking video. Jesus Christ. Yeah, four mana, five,
right, can we be a greedy little monster and get one more Nissa for the road here? Ooh, Karn, all right. Full beans, man. Not uh not complaining about that, dude. I'll tell you what, man. Yeah, I mean, literally. Like, these uh these the first and third box in no way able to compete with the second one, but compared to some other ones they've got and getting Karn and Calyx, um two of the better mythics. Even had that um <clears throat> the double um mythic pack. You know, it was with Tyvar and Samut Samat. You know, I don't so I don't think I've pulled a single uh Kiora in, in any of these uh boosters. In, in any like time that I've opened any aftermath product, I don't think I've gotten a single uh Kiora whatsoever. Yeah, so again, like the the variability is low. Especially when compared to a normal size product, but don't make you know don't make you don't think that that necessarily means like you know if you open two boxes you're getting every single rare and every single mythic because that's just not how uh, probability works right. Um, so I still have faith in this product for the future, even though we're a year after release. And these boxes are less than half MSRP, which is insane. But again, I mean, that's what happens when you overprint products and you have so many products coming out on, on such a regular basis. I mean, that's just kind of um, inevitable. But yeah, at this point, I'm talking to myself because this part's not going to be on the fucking video anyway. So 